the second was when he said two people died. And he said, yes, one person died in Admiralty Road due to blunt force trauma. And Admiralty Road is about three kilometers from that place. They saw the police brought in a body to the mortuary in Yaba, and he said he believed perhaps they had a run running lucky Yaba. The distance is far, and we we're listening to the BBC reports about sporadic firing in Yaba. service call member death rumor. A photo of a young call member shot in the stomach went viral on social media with claims that he died as a result of a shootout on the Lagos mainland. The rumor was debunked with the person in question coming forward to clarify that the photo in question was taken during a stage play earlier in the year. Steve Abe rumored dead on Twitter. Steve Abe was said to have died at the Lekki protest ground on Tuesday. According to reports, his last words were peace and unity. <laughs> Rest in peace, comrade. Analysis. Steve put out a post on his Twitter page to debunk the rumor. He came from the dead. Maybe. He debunked it. Did a Nigerian soldier shoot machine gun to protesters? A clip showing an anonymous soldier reportedly shooting with what seemed to be a tank mounted 50 caliber machine gun tweets shared the post suggesting that the soldier was a member of the Nigerian army shooting at a peaceful and unmanned armed protesters at the Lucky, Lucky Toll Gate. To start with, what jumps at you here is the 50 caliber. This is an anti-aircraft weapon called the Brownie. It's used to bring aircrafts down. Then you can imagine firing it in direct row. Analysis. We can confirm with 100% accuracy that this video was doctored. The audio seems to be taken from the actual Lekki toe shooting incident. This is evident in another video where soldiers were actually seen shooting in the air with what seemed to be AK-47s. Apparently to intimidate protesters, not our words, who kept shouting answers. The video footage onto which the audio was spliced of a soldier with a high caliber machine gun is presumably from a firefight with insurgents in the northeast Nigeria. Was Oke killed by a stray bullet? Oke Obi Enadu Huse is hit in the neck by a stray bullet from his wounds because the ambulance sent to help him was prevented from giving medical aid by Nigerian army. Oke Obi Enadu is hit in the neck by a stray bullet. This is the claim. Analysis. Oke's brother has since refuted the claim that his brother was hit in the neck by a stray bullet from officers trying to repel towns. Okay, hoodlums who broke into their home at Makinde Police Barrack, Mafoluku Oshodi, Lagos. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital where he was taken to by his mother and brother. Ira Oya Godwin death rumor. Godwin was said to have died of stomach 
of gunshot wound to his stomach during the protest on the mainland. Please retreat and add full names of any victims of anybody you know. Let's keep their memory alive by saying their names. His friends, Fajen Simi, took to his Twitter page to inform people that Godwin is very much alive and in Godwin's residence to show proof of life. Chairman of the board, members of this esteemed board, ladies and uh, of the panel, ladies and gentlemen, this is the extent to which unscrupulous people go on the internet, social media, to cast the Nigerian army in bad light, even when it is performing its constitutional duties. Not only in this crisis, but generally, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Buratai, has had some special directives in the conduct of all our operations. The first is that he frowns on indiscipline. Like I earlier told you, once is reported to be indisciplined. More so, in this internet age, it is investigated in military, immediately. The military police, and sometimes they lose it. Plus, he is disciplined. In some cases, dismissed. But when these issues are reported, when we even get back to these media houses, the social media, and report that this is what happened to the soldier, first, they do not give it as wide a coverage as they gave the initial offense, and two, default setting, it's a lie. The Chief of Army Staff special orders that no soldier is to molest civilians and defaulters will be severely sanctioned. That is still being carried out till today. Most importantly, women and children must be protected at all costs. He frowns particularly against femicide. Infrastructure and businesses must be protected against arson and looting. It is unfortunate we find ourselves in this situation where the people we have sworn to defend this. However, we also know that most of these perceptions and our mindsets, opinion of the public about the Nigerian army, is a result of ignorance of how the army is structured and how it operates. Involvement of the Nigerian Army in the Lagos 2020 October crisis. Recall, I gave you a background to the crisis and I now delved into the lucky toll gate incidents. I also intimated you about the conduct of operations and the aftermath of the crisis. Most importantly, I took time to discuss the campaign of misinformation against the Nigerian Army. My Lord, Chairman of the panel, other members of the panel, ladies and gentlemen, some people take delight in misrepresenting Nigeria, the armed forces, and particularly the Nigerian army, to the international community and our fellow Nigerians. 
This, I believe, is done for pecuniary gains and to chase clout. Quite recently, a Nigerian, Catherine Umer, also known as DJ Switch, claimed the Nigerian army was looking for her. There is nothing further than the truth. My Lord, we have bigger fish to fry. And that is how to stabilize Lagos. We can't one or two people. Where she got that from, I do not know. I personally have met with not less than eight people who attended uh, Enter's um, protest at Lekki. Met on their own terms. I've met doctors who are there. And the injuries are not even consistent with gunshot injuries. The social media campaign in the has been very active. Very evil and wicked. It is being conducted as if officers and men of the Nigerian army come from the moon or from Pluto and are not a member of the larger Nigerian society. There's no way. Officers and men will kill their brothers and sisters. I repeat, no way. We have those who constantly seek to drive a wedge between us and between the citizens and Nigerians, forgetting that the result of a hated armed forces, of hated security agencies, is anarchy. We have seen it happen in Nigeria before. The Boko Haram crisis started as a quarrel with Boko Haram against Fed Road Safety Corps and wearing of helmets. And some citizens were supporting Boko Haram. It graduated to attacks on police to are supporting police. They went on to the attack on the armed forces and the army, and they were attacking, they were happy. Yes, they are attacking the police, they are attacking the army. Where do we find ourselves now? The same Boko Haram is attacking and killing innocent civilians. I am sure they regret their support initially to the terrorists. They also seek to degrade the integrity and efficiency of the Nigerian. This, my Lord, will lead to anarchy. My Lord, the chairman of the panel, members of the panel, ladies and gentlemen, they will never succeed because the army, Nigerian army, belongs to you and 
It is the people's army who will not be deterred from our mandate, which is to protect the lives of each and every Nigerian. God bless Nigeria. God bless its citizens. And God bless Nigerian army. Madam, I seek to tender the, the video footage and also the expanded black bullets, expanded black bullets, four pieces of evidence. Yes, that is good. Okay, the, the PowerPoint, <laughs> including the video. <laughs> Thank you, Mila. I don't have them, so okay. any reactions to the Exhibit is being admitted in evidence. On our part, we have no objection. Yes, any other reaction? Where are the footages? It's a footage. The video. The PPT. Splash. Any other reaction to the admission of the expanded blank bullets or and the flash drive, I believe, which would be... No other objection?
in evidence for the day are the expended bullets. Well, if, if it's not in evidence, we can move on with the proceedings for the day.
I'm afraid the panel will have to rise briefly whilst the flash drive is being copied. So I can assure you we'll be back as soon as the, the copying is concluded. Thank <laughs> you.